Okay, so here's the first example. We want to graph this equation, y equals 2 times the sine of x. So the first thing you want to do, kind of make a little chart here, the first thing you want to do is you want to identify your a, your b, your c, and your d, and kind of along with that we'll call this one b. You want to find your period. So let's do that. So A is 2, B is 1, C is 0, and D is 0. Um, and then our new period we derive from B. So let's do that a minute. The new period is going to be equal to 2 pi over B, and B is 1. So that's going to be 2 pi. So there's no change there. Okay, I just want to show you how to do that. So step number one for graphing, actually that was step number one there. So this, uh, the next step for graphing, we'll call that step two here, is we want to graph the pure graph with the period of this equation. In other words, um, my, my period is 2 pi, so then I want to graph just a pure graph sign with the period of 2 pi. In other words, I don't want to make any changes here. So let's do that in this color here. So we know it starts there at 0. There's an x-intercept at um, pi, well let me erase that one here, oh, and you can see by the way that um, just to make this bigger for you, do you see how here I've like uh, skipped intervals um, just to stretch out the graph a little bit, so pi over 2 is not the first interval, it's the second one, I'm just stretching it out a little bit just to make it larger on the video. Alright, so there's my x-intercepts at 0, pi, and 2 pi. I know I have a maximum at pi over 2, which is at 1, and I have a minimum at 3 pi over 2 at negative 1. And then I'm going to connect these. Okay. Good. So there's the, the pure graph with the period of this equation. And yes, the period is 2 pi. So now the next step is I want to graph it with my amplitude change. And this is how you do that. Switch colors, and this is where your colored pencils will come in really handy. Well, the amplitude is 2. So that means that my maximum is going to be up here at 2, and my minimum is going to be at negative 2. So I've made some new dots there. My x-intercepts have not changed. All I'm doing is graphing it with a new amplitude. So now with my different color, simply connect the x-intercepts, there we go, to the maximum and minimum. So um, when you present this um, on a test or a quiz or homework, then you would make sure and say and identify oops, identify which graph is this one. And you can simply do it by writing it there and pointing an arrow to it. Um, you do not need to erase the other one at all. Just identify which one that is there. Um, so that's the... Oh no, let's, uh, let me show you how to check it with a calculator. So to check it with a calculator, you're going to do this. You're going to set your window. Your X window can go from 0 to 2 pi, and make sure your x scale on your calculator is set to pi over 2, and then your y can go from negative 2 to positive 2. And then what I find really handy is to graph with my calculator y sub 1 is the pure graph, and then y sub 2 
has the change. And so then when you do this on your calculator as a check, you can just see exactly what you graphed on paper. That's the end of the first example.